Hi, this is uh, Robin Scorpio. I was wondering if you could fit me in this afternoon. <sighs> okay, um, all right, well, uh, I need to get beautiful again as soon as possible. I need everything, manicure, pedicure, massage, facial, the works. Uh, next Tuesday is good. That, that's fine. Um, will you call me back if something opens up sooner? Yeah, the middle of the day is fine. My schedule is wide open at the moment. Thanks. Yeah, Michael's benefit. Uh, listen, I'm not going to be able to make it, but I'm definitely going to send a check. Great. Thanks. Uh, Robin's coming. Since when? It's about a half an hour ago. Sonny asked me to go over there and invite her, and I did. Didn't expect her to say yes, though. So. Yeah, well, she's probably just cooped up being in the house. Um, did she Did she mention anything about a babysitter? I think babysitters at least are your problems. What I'm about to say, consider the source, Robin and I, you know, we really don't get along. But, um... But what? I know the signs, and there's something seriously wrong with Robin. At your house today, Emma was crying. Who knows for how long. She was in the nursery. Anything could have been happening. Robin kept making up excuses not to go in and check on her. And then I threatened to go in there and pick up the baby. Finally, Robin goes in there, but she wheels the bassinet out into the room. She didn't even pick the baby up. She wouldn't touch her. Oh, I'm sure she picked her up in the nursery where you couldn't see. Okay, that's certainly possible. Robin barely looked at Emma the whole time I was there. Even when I picked her up, she was focused on me, not the baby. Then I, I brought up things that I knew would annoy Robin, like sticking little bows in Emma's hair. Robin would hate that. Yeah, and you know what? She had no response at all. She said nothing. Maybe she didn't want to argue with you. Or maybe she has postpartum depression. One of my first symptoms with Michael was I couldn't even touch him. I was so overwhelmed, and that's just how Robin is right now. You know... Carly, we just moved into a new house. She's under a lot of stress. We got married twice. She got sick after Emma was born. She, 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 she's not at work. And if you're rattling off excuses this easily, it means you're worried too. Hey, Robin thinks I'm a terrible mother. If I had postpartum depression, she can't. I understand, Carly, that you guys don't really like each other, but... Patrick. If I hadn't shown up at your house, your daughter could still be crying. back in the nursery, will you stop crying for just a little while, please? I want to pick you up. I, 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 I... Every time I do, you just cry harder, and I don't know how to comfort you, and I'm just, I'm so tired of feeling bad. That's why I'm going to go to the benefit tonight. I'm a, I just, I think I'm a bad mom. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I, I don't know how to do it, but I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna figure out a way, and I'm gonna be better. Okay? Just, just stop crying for just a second, so I can think. All right? Please, please, just. Pull together, and I'll be fine. 